Welcome to Automation Training Hub. In this video, we are going to see an example how to program an ST language. So in the last session, I given a program. So what we did in ladder diagram. So right now, we'll try to execute the same condition in ST language so that we can compare how much uh, difference between LD language and ST language. So in ST language itself, we have uh, two methods. So we'll uh, try to execute in both method. So right now, first we have to define the variables. So remember, in ST language, if you want to use an address now, always we have to declare a variable. In that variable, we have to give an address. Then only we can use it. So first we'll go to the symbol. So we have to add totally six input for the output. So right now we have assigned all the input and outputs. So now we'll go to the program. So first we try to execute in control method. So already in the previous video, we have done that one. But once again, I'll do it. So that will uh, check with another method also. So we come to know the difference. So in this, in control uh, statement, if you're using now, we have to use if then uh, statement we have to use it. so if sw1 and sw2 then Lamp one true. So remember the and or those conditions we can give for input side only, not an output. So when we say output separately only, we have to define. First condition is completed. Next is if SW3 or S4 on, then the 
plan 3. On. Plan 4. On. And 1 and 2 should off. So false. So next yes. If yes five and SW six then Lamp three and four should off. So remember. In ST, it is a case sensitive. So right now, we're using our word, small, small letters. In cap also, we can declare a variable, same variable, it will accept. So right now, the program is completed. But in every cases, we have made one mistake. What now? We are not given NDIF. So I just copy and paste it. So right now we can check it. So when I double click switch one and switch two, lamp one and two is on. So if I activate either one of uh, switch three or switch four, what happens? Lamp three and four is on, one and two off. Suppose switch five and switch six. So what happened? Three and four lamp is off. So how the condition has been given in the same way we are executing it. So this is how we are doing in control statement method. So right now, instead of control statement, what we do is we'll prefer a direct input-output statements. Like, so right now you can see when the lamp on should on, when switch one and switch two is on. So in here directly we can type in this way. Lamp one on when switch one and switch to on lamp two also what same but in series we can't give the output so it won't accept so it will say as a missing statement unidentified uh, undefined like that it will show you so for lamp two what you have to do now same way so i'll just copy and paste it Lamp two. So right now, same way for lamp three. When the lamp three should on, when yes W three or 
SW4 on LAM3 is on, same way for LAM4. Okay, so right now on condition has been done. So right now off condition we have to give. So when the lamp one and two is off, when S3 or S4, if either one is activate, L1 should off. So what we have to do in here this, we have to give and so in ST for the NC contact, how we have to give now, not SW3 and because think uh, what you will do in LD. In LD, we try to connect two NC contact in series, switch three and switch four, sorry. So in here, either one on L1, L2 should off. So what we do is the NC contact we connect in series. So that's why we're giving and. So this one also NC, so not four. So the same thing only we have to do for lamp two also. So in this case, what happened when switch five and switch three, switch six, when both activate, then only load three and load four should off. So what we have to do is in here, we have to connect NC contact in parallel. So L so switch five will be in series and switch five half switch six. So right now we'll compile it. <clears throat> so now we'll check it. So now when S1 on and S2 on, lamp 1 and 2 is on. So you can see in the execution we have one problem. So what problem we have now? Starting itself, lamp three and four is activated. So it happened due to this odd not. So what I'll do is I will place a bracket in here.
so right now we'll see right now switch one and switch two is on lamp one is on if switch three or switch four if either one activate what happened lamp one and two is off three and four is on if switch five and switch six So when both activate, the output should off. So the off condition is not happening. So when switch one is on and switch two is on, so first condition is okay. Second condition is working correctly. So lamp one and two is off, three and four is on. So now what happened? Three and four is off. So you can understand when we using input and output condition with the help of that when you're developing a program, the bracket is very important. If the bracket is not given now, that parallel contact, it will assume wrongly. So with the help of bracket only, we are confirming. So these two are what? Parallel. So once it execute this one, then only it should execute this. So like that condition, it take place. And we have to give carefully the and or get and all. So then only the condition will work correctly. So we have two options, two method. So as a programmer, you can prefer which one you want. So I hope you understood in ST language how to develop the programming. Thank you.